We're down to eight. Nigel's very happy. Holland in there against Argentina, Croatia, Brazil, England, France, and Morocco against Portugal. So the game's on the right-hand side of the screen. We will have Saturday afternoon, Morocco, Portugal, Saturday evening, England against France, both on ITV1 and STV. What about all that then? Uh, we thought it would be tight. We thought it might go to extra time and penalties. Congratulations. Congratulations to Fernando Santos first and foremost for that brave choice, Gary. Absolutely. It could have gone badly wrong for him tonight. And we predicted before the game that we thought Switzerland would do well. But Portugal, you know, it's purring this tournament now. You think about how Brazil played last night, Portugal tonight, England, France. The teams have obviously played weaker opposition. It's the last chance they're going to get to play weaker opposition. He took a chance, Santos. You know, not just leaving out Cristiano Ronaldo, but Neves, Cancelo, but Cristiano Ronaldo was the big one. And it's paid off for him in abundance because he's put in a, te a brilliant team performance. They were outstanding, Portugal. This is a remarkable story. He played 33 minutes of international football, Ramos. He hadn't started a game before tonight. He's the youngest World Cup hat-trick scorer for 60 years. Ian. Yeah, yeah, and it was it was very impressive. He played a lot. He played, but he, he played very well. Scored a hat-trick and obviously take all the headlines and rightly so, but... His hold up play and everything was brilliant, but like the first goal, it kind of like set the stall for him because he, he scores a goal here, guys. That he, he's not meant to score in, but he's hit it so well. He's hit it so so early, so well. He's not meant to score in that side of the goal, but he's done it, and and that kind of set them on the road, really. Yeah, fantastic. Now I, I have to say, I was really pleased to see that as well. You know, as a young kid coming into the game like this, you know, it's a lot of pressure on his shoulders because yeah. he's replacing Cristiano Ronaldo, but. I mean, that was gone, but look at this. This the is something that you would do. I like the eh? near post You nearly like the yeah, near post, like move, the near post move, huh? That little ding there with his left. And you know what I like about him? He's two, he's two footed. Yes. He can play left and right. I mean, he's touched with his right foot and then finished with his left. And then this one here. This I is mean, one of your this favorites. Pure, yeah, pure look class because he's in total control. You know, he's, he's had good touches of the football. The goalkeeper can't get there because he's looking for a bad touch. And then he's just dinked it beautifully. And it's just. It's brilliant. It's icing on the cake from cherry on the top. Switzerland had more holes in their defence than in a Swiss cheese tonight, Gary, <laughs> didn't they? But they, they really took advantage. And Xiao Felix, I think we've all enjoyed watching him. But maybe the shadow of Ronaldo, maybe maybe the chains of Diego Simeone Atletico. But tonight he was happiness personified. He really was. I mean, a massive price tag a good few years ago now going to Atletico Madrid. And it's just never really happened for him. And you're thinking, what type of player is he? You know, where's his best position? Is he a midfield player? Is he a wide player? And you see him tonight, he's doing his absolute best. He's delivering with real quality. He's feeding passes in. He's linking play. He's looking over his shoulder. This run here, Gal. Fantastic. I mean, this was brilliant. You know what You know what he reminds me of today? About Ricardo Kaka. Wow. The way, yeah. how, he, the way yeah. how he played, the way how he, how, pick, how, pick, how he picked players in, between the lines, his runs that he made, but being so crucial for... Also, oh. you know, the, 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 the passes he gave and in the final yeah. passes. I mean, this link of play was fantastic. I think Portugal wow. have a bright future with these guys up top. Well, the future is now. I was lucky enough to watch Brazil last night. Yeah. They were as good as Brazil last night. Yeah, they were. You'd have to give them as much of a chance as Brazil, would you? Oh, without a doubt, without a doubt. And I think if Cristiano Ronaldo will rip, can, can, he can look at his team and think from back to front. This team's got, what I saw there tonight, that's a team that can go easily go all the way. And he could still really contribute to this team without maybe having to do so much because this team can do it without him they've proved that before in the euros and they've done it today they were dynamic without him if he just gets it all right in his head he can be the one that, he can still end up scoring a winning goal from in the final <laughs> Ian, it's, it's worth mentioning there was a picture doing the rounds on social media yes. yeah. in the first half which looked like he was miserable on the bench after they scored the first two goals he celebrated like crazy for the first two goals and to be fair, I've given him, I've given him a bit of criticism for sulking. He wasn't sulking. He went and celebrated with Pepe, with Ramos on both goals, nice and, it, one. and it looked like, to be fair, on social media, he was miserable on the bench. That's not the no, case. That was, no. That's not no. fair. How, Nigel, how important was it that he got minutes? How cute a move was that from Santos? Maybe to make him still feel involved. And it, I know it's easy to do when you're four-one-five-one up, but how important was that? Do you think? It is really important, you know, yeah. especially with a player for that for that stage here as well in your squad. It's not always what happens on the football pitch, also off the pitch. You yeah. need to keep that harmony yeah. and that atmosphere. And he's such an influence and influence figure in that squad. So you need to keep him happy. You need to give him minutes. And it was also the game for it to give him minutes. Obviously, he didn't score. He was searching for the goal, but. At the end of the day, it's not about his individual anymore. He needs to think about a team process. Absolutely. You know, I think 
the next couple of days are going to be really crucial for him and, and the Portuguese team in order to go to the quarterfinals. How would he put himself out there? Would it be the leader? Would it be the, the main guy, the captain that everybody speaks of? Hopefully. We talk a lot about England and the fact they haven't won anything since 1966 in the men's game. The fact you just mentioned it, they've won the Nations League, they've won the Euros. That has to give them a level of confidence that, that maybe, say like in England, can't have because they haven't gone all the way. No, they haven't. And, and the thing as well is, is that the team looks very complete with what they're doing and then they've got players. I mentioned that bench gal, Cancelo as well. Players, Neves, players are Leo. not... Yeah, you know, he came on and scored a great goal. Mm. You, you must be going back in that dressing room thinking, wow, you know, we could probably give anyone a good game. And, and you know, with, if he can carry on that kind of scoring, mm. You know, Gomez, they, they can do it. They can do it just like we can. <laughs> just like we can.